So today's video is going to be testing as seen on TV products and this video is kind of a collab with Parker because we were shopping in the as seen on TV section in Target when he decided to make a video testing the stuff and then I copied him. So I'm gonna link his channel down below. If you guys are new to my channel or you are not subscribed, make sure to thumbs up this video and I was gonna actually say subscribe, not thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is down below. Also thumbs up this video if you want to. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first product that I'm going to be testing out today is this Smart Swab Easy Earwax Removal. Basically, you just stick this little tip in your ear and twist it and earwax is supposed to come out. Open it up. Okay. Okay, so for the right ear, the arrow should be pointing down. I'm gonna be so grossed out if this comes out with anything. Okay, I like can't see. Why is it sticking in my ear? Okay, I'm using my phone as a mirror. Okay, there's nothing on it. Let me try it again. Empty. Left ear cleaning, the arrow should be pointing up. Twist in the direction of the arrow on the handle. So there's pretty much nothing on here. I don't know if I should say this doesn't work or if I just have clean ears. Who do I know with dirty ears that I should Let me try. have tries? Do you want your own? Yes. <laughs> we'll stick it in. Mm -hmm. Twist it up. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Clever Cutter, and I have actually seen this on TV and I really wanted to try it, so I hope that it works. It is a two-in-one knife and cutting board, so as you can see from the pictures on the back, basically it's just supposed to make it super easy and quick for you to slice up all foods. I have my food, I have a zucchini, I also have some potatoes. These are actually cooked already, there's a hair on it. And then I also only have baby carrots. Let's start with the potato. I hope this works because if it ruins these, then I can't eat them for lunch. Okay. Oh, it's doing it! This thing, okay, this is definitely something I'm gonna use all the time. Oh my gosh! Look at that! This one does work. out is called the Simply Straight Ceramic Straightening Brush. I have seen a bunch of different versions of these, but I've never actually tried one. Basically, you're just supposed to brush your hair with this and it straightens it. I'm actually really sad to be testing this out because I kind of like how my hair looks today. And even though I don't think this is going to work very well, it's going to mess up my hair. It says it has a six foot cord for hassle free use. That's actually... That's six feet? That's actually not as long as I was thinking. I was impressed for a second, but now I'm not. So, let's plug this in. What the freak? Why was it turned off? So I've had this plugged in for a couple minutes. It was heating up and then I looked down and it turned itself off. Um, it is heating up pretty fast though, like 204, 25, 206, 20. I can't even count as fast as it's heating up. This is what it looks like. It has little brush bristle bristles. I don't think this part gets hot. I think only the pink part gets hot. I'm gonna start off with this little front section and I'm gonna start from the bottom. My hair is very tangly right now. Ow. Okay. Okay, that actually, I'm actually a little bit impressed. If you have like naturally curly hair though, I definitely don't think this will work for you if your hair curls start like up here. Okay, let's try another section. I definitely also think this would take longer than a real straightener. Okay, I am actually impressed with this. Still not gonna use this instead of my straightener, but this is not that bad. rocker lighting control on your phone. It says it's one second installation. It magnetically attaches instantly to your light switch. I honestly don't really understand what this does. Okay, so opening up the box. Oh, I thought this was a chapstick. It's battery. This is not in English. None of this is in English. Snap the switch mate onto your existing light switch. 
Oh, okay. Download the app. This is the test. Aim it at the light. Oh, it works! Okay, so this one actually works. It's pretty cool. It does take a while and make a sound. But it does work. So next I'm going to be testing out this spray on nail polish. I have heard so much about this stuff, but I haven't really heard if it actually works. Step one says to apply base coat. I don't have one of those. Then it says to cover your work area with a paper towel. Did that. Step three, shake can. Let's try this out. It's freaking cold. Okay. Right off the bat, it's very, 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 very thin. So I'm definitely gonna need more than one coat. <gasps> it is seriously like freezing. They look really crappy. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. I'm taking my top coat. So I'm putting it on. So this is what it looks like. I'm definitely glad I only did one hand because this stuff freaking sucks. Hopefully it washes off. So it says soap and water. Um, side note, my cameraman just had to go put on his glasses because he couldn't tell if I was in focus, so hopefully this video doesn't suck. This stuff sucks. It does not work well at all. It did rinse off my skin really nicely, thank goodness, but do not buy this. Do not try this. I do not like this. Nice rhyme. Thanks. <laughs> 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 that is going to be my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to a thumbs up if you did and also comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried out any of these things. Don't forget to check out Parker's channel link down below and also check out our vlog channel. We've been posting a ton on there. So those links are down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Do you want to try it?